This is through hiking the West Highland Way, a 96 mile trail that traverses itself through the beautiful and stunning scenery of the West Highlands of Scotland. Malgai, there she is. Welcome to another through hike. Which one is it? That one. The West Highland Way. And this place kind of feels like home a little bit since, well, since ever leaving the army. I um, I spent a lot of time up here, so it's been nice, nice to be back. Feels good to be out, baby. I'll tell you one thing though. So we've rocked up here. We just got off the train. Took me about three and a half, four hours maybe. Four or five, I can't even remember. I don't even know. I've been on a train for a while and my head's frazzled. But although it looks beautiful over that side, over there, it's looking pretty dark and dingy. So I'm kind of worried that we're about to get smashed with an absolute mental spring storm. Up and out of Malgai, Milgai, I don't know what it is. I'm sorry, I'm terrible at these names. Anything trail related that's got a name that's half hard to pronounce, I do not know. But I'm trying. We're up and out there now anyway. And we're heading north. I think, am I even going the right way? I've got a wrap to eat. I'm running on locales, I should have eaten on the train, but you know, you just like, I just didn't. <laughs> now I'm regretting it because I'm hungry. I'm going to smash this and then I'll be back on form. It's just started sprinkling. I'm trying to avoid showers. <laughs> There's a big black cloud above me and I'm trying to just put my foot down and get, get in front of it so it doesn't catch me. But I'm getting a little bit, a little bit rained on at the minute. Not enough to stop and put waterproofs on yet though. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those trails, one of them. As you can see, I'm very Gore-Texed up now because it just absolutely hammered down for about five minutes straight. Um, I'm pretty like, well, in, so that's the inside of my cap and it's very wet. So, and I didn't take it off, so that's proof in the pudding. Um, and now it's gorgeous rays of sunshine and it's gonna be one of them trails. I didn't bring the frog tog this time, the ultralight one, the 150 gram or whatever they are, 130 gram. This is like 250, so it's not very ultralight, but it's my lighter Gore-Tex that I usually use for the summer and stuff like that. So this one's fairly lightweight, but not as lightweight as, uh, as I'd hoped, because I had the suspicion that there might be some serious downpours. Uh, and today we're supposed to be prolonged downpour all day, as well as Sunday. So I didn't really want to risk it. And that is a beautiful, Looking little lock there. I don't know, I, don't, I really don't know if the camera's picking up this weird voodoo. It's just like a lurking, a lurking fog. Just lay like really close to the ground. It's really weird. I've never seen that before. <laughs> as well strange there's a lot of surface water on this track it's all forestry tracks like hardcore road and there's a lot of surface water because of the absolute pee downs that keep happening uh, <laughs> which we can't really do much about but i feel like i'm gonna have wet socks soon potentially but that's that in it the hills they seem all green but they hide all the monsters and you kept holding my as you reach for water The hills by the lake You were chasing your dream And I gave you a rose That you kept on seeing Kept on
Oh, look at these buggers. Just had a solid hour of rain, but uh, it's over it now. I, every time, I was always thinking the whole way through this hour of rain was, right, get it done, get the rain out of the way, and stop and have some food. But now as soon as the rain stops, all the midges have just come out. I thought I'd beat midge season. But I think it's just because I'm in some lowland here. But, no, they're massive as well. And I'm wearing shorts. Please don't do me in. I've some, seen some I seen some earlier that come past. And they look like flipping dragonflies. Pterodactyls, the mozzies around here, guys. Pterodactyls. The hills by the lake you were chasing your green. That was sweet, man. Just rocked up and saw a sign. The turnip beat, it's called, and um, it was like world-class deli. I was like, yes, got to the door. It's like, oh, they're closed. And the dude seeing me because he had the door open, he was like, oh, I was like, you open, mate? He was like, no, but uh, what do you want, man? I was like, sweet. So I got myself some pastry goods, and he was like, oh, that pie's been on the hot shelf like most of the day, man. Just have it half price. So sweet. Nabbed some saucy little pastries. So yeah, shout out, man. Peace. Just keep walking, keep hiking. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, boy. Bivy spot under this bridge. Yeah, it's a little bit noisy when the cars come over, but you know what I mean? Beggars can't be choosers, mate. Actually, that is a bit loud. Nah, FRS. Anyway, what have we done? About 8.9 miles, something like that. And we're gonna carry on. You know what, at this rate, we'll smash out of 20. No, I'm joking. We won't smash out of 20 today. Not on the first day. Come on, JBA. I've noticed a few things. One, the last campsite I saw, there was about 15 one person, two person tents. And I was like, oh, that's a lot of people doing this trail. And then I've just come past the first wood block that I've seen. I was like, oh, I might camp in here. Like another four or five tents. This trail's gonna be ram nugget tomorrow. So, part of me's thinking, either smash out some more miles, get as close to Loch Lomond as I can before the, the ban of camping comes into place. And then get an early night and wake up like cracker sparrows, arse, whatever it's called, and then get some miles smashed before everyone wakes up just to try and get ahead of the crowds. But I think these crowds are gonna be spread and scattered across the entire trail. So I might just have to be, might just have to embrace it to be honest. 13.1 miles. I was thinking about doing it 20, I'm not gonna lie. I've got it in me. I could happily smash out another seven. Only drama is, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna hit Lot Lomond. And basically, if you don't know, Lot Lomond, if you hit it, there's a camping ban in place there because it got so popular, because it's so close to Glasgow. Everyone coming out for the weekends and camping there in the absolute masses. So they had to chin it off. Hence, there's restraining orders on whether you can camp there or not. What is going on? Just rocked up to the camp spot for the night. And this, well, it's marked on the map as like there's a little tent there. So I'm presuming this is like one of the designated spots for the old camp here. Went on the west island way, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pitch up here and um, enjoy it. We're on 13.8 mile, if you can see that. So yeah. And I can't really go too much further because of Loch Lomond. Chicken tikka with rice from summit to eat. Beauty. How many K cows? 665. 
I was kindly sent these meals by Basecamp Food, so if you want to go and check out the website, I'll leave the link below, and you can also check them out on Instagram there. And as a little sweetener, if you spend over £20 on food or energy on their website, then you can get 10% off with code Jake's Journey Mate. Was that backwards? I don't know. Jake's Journey Mate. Check it out. Basecamp Foods don't just do one set of meals either, so you can do a full order and do bulk buys and all that sort of good stuff. They also do loads of other brands as well, other than something to eat, such as Expedition Foods and Real Termac, and they're all beautiful meals, so go check them out. Good morning, gang. I'm just walking out now and I think that that is the sort of, that's like marked on the map as like a little camp spot. So yeah, basically in and amongst those woods there. That's what's cool about Scotland, man. Wild camping's legal. You've got the right, what's known as the right to roam. I think it's 2003, uh, basically an act that states what you are and what you are aren't allowed to do is trespassing laws. Yeah, on foot you're pretty much good, mate. In a van on the other hand, not so much. But yeah, man, straight out into the beautiful scenery this morning. Slept all right, not the best. That forest floor was pretty hard, to be honest. I wish I'd chosen a better, better spot, because I'm only on my thinny, little tiny thing. So it was like sleeping on concrete. But it's sound, in it? It's night one, I'm still getting used to being back on a mat after a week in a comfy bed in Bow, <laughs> in my van, if you don't know, which is wearing a full time and I'm not, not on trail, bouncing around like a knob. <laughs> but yeah, man, come on, I'm gonna get some miles down anyway. And I've got uh, I've got pop tarts for breakfast, baby. Woo it's the van gang. Still fast asleep, boys. What a beautiful park up, actually. If you are doing the West Island way, supported, and your partner or whoever it is has got a van and they're squaring your way, there's a park up for night one. What a stunner. Three bars, 4G, mate. So you're good to go. So you can get here, get a shower on in your van, do some Ketflix and pills, Netflix and chill. But yeah, man. Fuck. Hey, let's go. It's a good job I, I camp where I did, to be honest, because this trail head, I think, pretty much marks the last part of where you can actually walk camp before you hit the lock moment. I've just gone to Fanner Street and then I was like, mint, laughing. Walked plus of it off trail up, upstream. So I was like, let's see, I don't want to go next to the road, next to the tracks, people have been pissing and shit in there. And then this one actually pitched, I'm like, I don't trust that people don't have the common sense to not piss and shit near water. So straight away, those like, those water sources are written off to me. Yeah, I'm filtering, yeah. But even so, I don't want someone's freaking real termat meal flying about in my, in my, in my sub water, you know what I mean? I try and find somewhere because I'm pretty low on water, man. Pretty low. I knew I was going to a high point, so I thought I'd be alright with uh, refilling, but not right now. What most people drink, what hikers drink. Yeah, that looks like piss. <laughs> that 
that's going to be a joke, can it? Burnside Cottage. That's taking the mick. <laughs> Join me next week for episode two of the West Highland Way or stream now over on Patreon. That there is the Bridge of Orkney. Cheers. Woo. Woo. Stunning. Oh, mate, this is bliss. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification if you want to know as soon as I upload another video.